Put Pister up, please. I'd like to see Nick Pister. Mr. Pister. Yes. Uh, you have corrected me, and I appreciate that. The girlfriend was not a stripper. According to you, she was a hostess at a strip club, whatever hostess may entail. Now, you say that the marriage apparently was fine. Could you please explain the not a stripper? How does that fit with your theory of a happy marriage? Well, what I'm saying is there were no appearances that that, you know, that other people had said that the marriage was in turmoil. I mean, we've interviewed family members. We've interviewed as many people as we can, and nobody has said anything that they knew of anything to point okay. to trouble within the marriage. To Enrico Mirabelli, was there any indication of a rift within the marriage? There was not. I specifically asked my aunt, Mario, who she's very close with, as did the police officers, and she had never complained about any infidelity. She had not complained about any verbal or physical abuse to any of the family members. Are you so surprised by the time we to read find Nick's out story, about the hostess? Uh, well, <laughs> surprise is one, one uh, emotion. Betrayal is another emotion because uh, my aunt and my cousin, they know this young lady. Uh, she went to high school with Sherry. So it's not some random girl he met off the internet. This was a, a, a friend of the family, a friend of their daughters, their sisters. So uh, they felt betrayed and, and they're upset. But they were stunned to read Nick's story. Uh, Nick called me and gave me the heads up. The story was coming out. I called my aunt. Uh, she was very, very surprised because Sherry had never complained to her family members about this. Mr. Mirabelli, I don't, I don't even know if Sherry knew.